A 12-year-old boy has died from bloodless following a failed circumcision at a migrant center in Italy. The boy's twin brother also underwent the procedure in Rome's northwestern suburb by Monterondo and is recovering in hospital. A 66-year-old man has been charged with murder, according to Italian media. Some five. 000 circumcisions are performed in Italy each year, but more than a third are carried out illegally, according to health charity MC. Cultural non-profit group RC said the procedures had taken place at a refugee center residence with the local consul in Montalondo. It is a tragedy that leaves us speechless. RC said in a statement on Facebook, adding that it would take civil action once those responsible for the child's death had been determined by police. The two boys, who have not been named, were born in Italy in 2000 and 17 to a Nigerian mother who has five other children in Nigeria. Local media say the mother had asked for the operations in respect for Nigeria's Islamic traditions, despite being Catholic herself. The medical credentials of the doctor are reportedly being questioned by police. Anza said the man arrested was an American citizen of Libyan origin. It is an absurd tragedy, said Antonino Lopi, mayor of Monterondo. In an interview with the Corriere del Sera, circumcision is currently unavailable in public health institutions in Italy. Having the procedure at a private clinic can cost between 2 798 and 4 According to Ford Audi, president of ANSI, as a result, those from poorer backgrounds can end up in the hands of unscrupulous and unskilled people who far 50 or 20 practice circumcision, Mr. Audi said in a statement by Michelle Roberts, BBC News Online Health Editor. Although it is a relatively simple medical procedure, circumcision is not entirely risk-free. Doctors may recommend that a man or boy is circumcised if he has an unusually tight foreskin, known as thermosis, or suffers from recurrent infections of the foreskin and the penis, known as balanitis. There is also some evidence that men who are circumcised have a lower risk of contracting HIV from his positive female partners. It is not clear if circumcision reduces the risk of other sexually transmitted infections at all, but studies suggest it may lower the chance of catching genital warts caused by a family of viruses called HPV. The main risks of the surgery are bleeding and infection. In the United Kingdom, the chance of this occurring is between 1 in 10 and 1 in 50. According to the NHS website, although that is a figure for older boys and men, not newborns, circumcision is legal throughout Europe, although the practice is becoming more controversial. According to Germany, passed a local ban in 2012 after the circumcision of a five-year-old Muslim boy led to complications, with the judge saying it permanently and directly changed the body. However, the German government later that year clarified that the procedure is legal provided it is performed by trained practitioners. The following year, the Council of Europe recommended countries take steps to ensure good medical and sanitary practices when performing a circumcision. And in the United Kingdom in 2016, a court ruled that a Muslim father could not have his son circumcised after their mother disagreed.
The United States military says it has killed 62 fighters from the Islamist group Al-Shabaab in six airstrikes in Somalia. Four airstrikes on Saturday killed 32 militants, and a further two on Sunday killed 28, it said in a statement. This was the deadliest air attacks in Somalia since November 2017, when the United States said it had killed 100 militants. Somalia has seen a sharp increase in the number of airstrikes and casualties since President Donald Trump took office in the United States in January 2017. A tally by the Bureau of Investigative Journalism reveals that at least 400 people have been killed in airstrikes since the beginning of 2017, far more than the previous 10 years combined. The latest strikes bring to at least 30 the number carried out in Somalia so far this year. Compared with 35 recorded in 2017, the United States has a huge military base in neighboring Djibouti, from where it launches attacks on the militants. Mr. Trump gave the United States military greater authority in March 2017 to attack militants in Somalia. Traditionally, United States presidents have been wary of intervening in Somalia since 80 special forces soldiers died fighting militias in the capital Mogadishu in 1993. A battle dramatized in the film Black Hawk Down. No civilians were killed in the latest air strikes, which were carried out in coordination with the Somali government. The United States military said, alongside our Somali and international partners, we are committed to preventing Al-Shabaab from taking advantage of safe havens from which they can build capacity and attack the people of Somalia, the United States Africa Command said. Al-Shabaab, which is linked to Al-Qaeda, has not yet commented on the latest strikes. Somalia-based security think tank the High Royal Institute said in a report published in November that Al-Shabaab had been forced to change tactics following the upsurge in airstrikes. The institute said the group was now conducting fewer mass attacks on military bases, but attacks on government offices and businesses which refused to pay. It taxes had increased markedly. The United States State Department, in its most recent report on terrorism, described Somalia as a terrorist safe haven and said that Shabab remained a threat. Despite suffering setbacks, the group retained the control over large parts of the country and the ability to carry out high profile attacks. Using full side bombers, explosive devices, mortars, and small arms, the report added, the United States military says it has killed 62 fighters from the Islamist group Al-Shabaab in six airstrikes in Somalia. Four airstrikes on Saturday killed 32 militants, and a further two on Sunday killed 28. It said in a statement, this was the deadliest air attacks in Somalia since November 2017, when the United States said it had killed 100 militants. Somalia has seen a sharp increase in the number of airstrikes and casualties since President Donald Trump took office in the United States in January 2017. A tally by the Bureau of Investigative Journalism reveals that at least 400 people have been killed in airstrikes since the beginning of 2017, far more than the previous 10 years combined. The latest strikes bring to at least 
spotted the number carried out in Somalia so far this year, compared with 35 recorded in 2017. The United States has a huge military base in neighboring Djibouti, from where it launches attacks on the militants. Mr. Trump gave the United States military greater authority in March 2017 to attack militants in Somalia. Traditionally, United States presidents have been wary of intervening in Somalia since it is special. Forces soldiers died fighting militias in the capital Mogadishu in 1993. A battle dramatized in the film Black Hawk Down. No civilians were killed in the latest airstrikes, which were carried out in coordination with the Somali government.